Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to Napa Valley, California. I thought we would just do a quick makeup tutorial using all the products that I use when I travel. And these are just a lot of new things that I recently purchased at Sephora, but also a lot of old trusty goods. I have my little microphone here. We are very official and fancy here. I'm sitting outside on the balcony. Mike and I are going to a wine tasting. We need to leave in 40 minutes. So I need to slap some makeup on my face. I hope that the audio is okay. I literally just turned the air conditioning off in the, in the hotel room because it was so loud out here. So shh, don't tell Mike, he might be sweating. I hope that we enjoy the birds and the wind and just being amongst the nature and the notorical, notorical? I don't think that's a word, but you know, I make up words here. I put all my SPF on my face. I put my Tatcha water cream. And then I put SPF 50 from La Roche-Posay. I put a little bit of Ule Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. And then I tried the Dr. Jart Sick Pear, Chick a Pear. My subscriber told me how to say it, but I already forgot. I put a little bit of that around my mouth because my mouth is just like inflamed. I don't know. I think it has to do with my cycle, but I'm also starting to think that it has to do with my allergies outside. And Mike and I have been outside a lot because it is beautiful in California. And why wouldn't we be outside? But I just feel like my skin's kind of acting up. So I put a little bit of the chick a pear, sick a pear, however you say it. I will link it down below around my mouth just to alleviate some of that redness. So I'm gonna take a little bit of say this is their slip tint broad spectrum i am the shade i am in the shade three and if i stumble upon my words that's just because that's what i do and i hope that you guys don't mind so i'm gonna take about a pump of this on the back of my hand this is the only mirror that i have i really did not plan very well but i'm just gonna stamp this into my skin and again this has spf 30 in it sorry if you can hear other people speaking but you know we're just making it, we're making it, we're making the best of it, honestly, because this is life, I'm on vacation. If you watch my channel, I really hope that you get the authenticity of me and just my life. Like I really try and build this into my everyday life. And this is where I get dressed. Well, not dressed, I don't come out, I, you know, I am dressed. I don't get dressed on the balcony. That'd be a little weird, but this is where I tend to do my makeup, especially when we're on vacation. A real look into what my vacation looks like. It's funny because Mike has so many pictures of me from when we went to Italy. He has pictures of me on the balcony getting ready. I just, I love being outside. I just, I love being, I love being outside. And honestly, that's a trait that I have in common with my dad. My dad was such an outdoorsy kind of guy, whether it was the spring, the summer, the dead of winter and the snow, like he just loved being outside. I've always liked being outside, but even so now that my dad's no longer here, I feel like it kind of brings me closer to him. I don't really know. I'm trying to embrace the Bob qualities within me. I just wanna be outside. So that's why we're here. It's very luminous. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but the way that it picks up the light, it kind of gives a soft veil to your skin. So this is really nice, beautiful on the go. You can apply it with a brush, which I clearly just did, or I do like to rub it between my fingers and then smear it all over my face because it makes me feel like I'm just doing an extra layer of skincare. But right now I have a lot of sunscreen on my face. I bought this little crayon guy, if I can find it during, where is it? Hello, during the Sephora sale. That's not it, that's a YSL lipstick. I also bought a bunch of those during the Sephora sale. I bought this little crayon this little bronzer crayon, shade bright side, and this brush, which I love, love, love this brush. It's so freaking nice, but this is what I do just to give a little sculpting to my face. I draw it, can you see, on my neck like that because I, I have no chin, honestly. And then I squiggle on my forehead just like that. And then I put some down my nose like that. And then for my cheeks, I don't know, I just find that it looks so much more natural when I pick it up. And I hope that you can see what I'm doing because I can hardly see what I'm doing. So this shall be fun. And I just kind of like stipple this into my skin. But what I like about this brush is that it's angled. So I just feel like it's really good at blending, kind of like helping you to keep the product where you want it. It is so windy out here. I hope that the audio is okay. Can you hear me? I don't know. But even on vacation, like I love a good 10 minute makeup and I am loving this crayon and I'm shocked because if you watched my Sephora haul, I was a little skeptical. And when I bought it, honestly, I was skeptical because I just, I didn't feel like the shades were that good for my complexion. But this is actually a good in-between 
shade for me. It's a good bronzer shade and a good contour shade. Kind of use it to do both. You know, I'm lazy and we all know that. If you watch my channel, you know I am like the queen of 10 minute makeup, natural makeup. And especially on vacation, I just want to get out there and live my life and like frolic in the vineyards and mm, it's just so fun, you know? Makeup is meant to just enhance your features and just for me at least, you know, everyone's different. I don't know, people can change their features. I used to do that, but now I just try to embrace who I am and just make myself feel better about presenting myself to the world. It just puts me in a better mood. I don't know. So I'm gonna take a little bit, put it into the crease of my lid to give me a little lift. Can you see though? It's so nice. I love how emollient it is. It blends in 2.2 seconds. I'm gonna take this busted. Look at this, busted. Tower 28, happy hour. This is the cream blush. And I'm just gonna pick this up with my favorite cream blush brush that no longer exists. They do not make this, but just a dome brush like this is the perfect kind of brush. And I'm just gonna stamp this onto my cheeks. I really hope that Mike doesn't notice that I turned the air off. <laughs> it's not hot out. So I feel like it'll be okay, but it, it's like so loud. The air conditioner is literally right outside here on the balcony and you like could not hear me. It sounded like I was being invaded by like robots. And then I'm gonna go back in with my hourglass that I use to apply my Say Beauty and I just like to clean up the edges because sometimes I bring the bronzer down a little too far, which is okay, but that does drag your face down a bit kind of just like to go everything, go over everything and kind of like use what's ever left over on the brush to help separate the sections of my face. So, you know, where I put that color just to like, I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but just to help lift the face and not drag it down. I hope you can see, but like my skin, she's not really doing well right now, but you would never know because I'm doing a really good job of faking it till I make it. I take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I love this guy, especially when traveling. And you could just use your hourglass brush or whatever brush, but I like to bring this one. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer. And I use this to kind of just take out any of the creases before grabbing a puff with some of that powder on it and setting my face. I'm like a little nervous to edit this video back and hear the audio, but like I wanted you guys to feel like you're here with me, like we're sitting on a balcony, sipping coffee, which I have neglected my coffee the entire time that I've been sitting here. Um, normally I say grab a drink, grab a snack. Today my drink is a coffee from Model Bakery. Ugh, I just, I love California. I would love to move here, honestly, but it's expensive and I don't have a job out here, so. I don't know how that is feasible, but one day, they say. All right, I brought this Urban Decay powder, powder palette, Stay Naked Threesome in Rise. I love it because it has a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush, so it's perfect for travel, three in one. Y'all know I love a multi-purpose product and a multi-purpose brush. So I'm gonna use the bronzer first, and I'm just gonna set over where I put that bronzer and my blush just to give a little bit more warmth to the face. Can you see how that just like pops a little bit more than this side? I'm gonna use it on the big side of this brush. And bring it down my neck. I am so pale guys and I did not self tan. Like we all knew I was not gonna self tan because I said I wasn't gonna self tan. Um, so yesterday I wore a really short dress because it was like the warmest day that we're gonna be here. And oh my God, my legs are so white, but that's okay. We're just embracing who we are. That's what I try and promote in just my life. You know, it is what it is. You gotta accept things for what they are. You have to love yourself because life's too short to dwell on the small things, right? I don't really love this blush though. I don't know what happened. I really did like it, but now it's kind of going on a little patchy. The color is great, but the formula is patchy until I set it, which I'll give it that. Once I set it with a little bit of setting spray, which we will clearly do, it does get a little better, but she's a little patchy. And because she's patchy, can you hear me? I don't know. Because she's patchy, I take this, the bronzer side again, and I just go over it, just to help blend everything like that. 
Really, it's all about the skin for me. But you know, if you've been here for a while, you know that by now. Let's do the brows. So for brows, this has been my favorite thing as of recently. I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and the e.l.f. Wow. What is this? The Wow Brow Neutral Brown, which is like the perfect color for me. So I fill it in with this little gel first. What are we sawing right now? Like what's happening? And I'm so happy because it's such a beautiful day and it wasn't supposed to be so nice out today, but it's turned out to be gorgeous. So I fill it in with the wow brow and then I take this brow whiz just to shape them a little bit better. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry. The only thing is though, is that the spoolie always breaks off of this damn brow pencil. So I did bring another pencil with a spoolie. How annoying is that? Look at the brows. They're bold and bushy and we love them. We love a bold bushy brow here. But look, that literally took no time. So quick, oh my God, I wanna spray my face. So let me grab my setting spray that I bring every time we travel. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. It just cements everything in. Like if you need your makeup to last all day, this is the spray. Drink some coffee while we wait. I don't think this coffee is that great, honestly, but I just need it. I need it to survive. For eyes, I've been keeping it super simple. I put all of my brushes in these cases. I will link them down below and I will show you my travel bag in just a second. It's my favorite makeup travel bag I've ever had. I keep my large face brushes in here and then I keep my eyeshadow brushes in here. I've been keeping it pretty minimal. I brought, I would say I've been using like three brushes. So I always overpack because I think I'm gonna wanna sit down and take the time to do my makeup and I actually don't. I just wanna go and I wanna drink and I wanna be merry. So I've been using the La Roque Pro Palette. I've been taking this cool taupe shade on a flat brush, Luxie 209 Large Shader. So I've just been picking this up and kind of just putting it all over my lid. So I hope you can see but I've just been putting it like this, like everywhere nonchalantly. It's a really pretty color. And then I take it on the side of my brush like this and I put it underneath my eye. And then after I've placed the shadow, I take a fluffy brush, Scott Barnes 6-2, and I kind of just fluff the shadow to help soften it on the outside to make it look like I put in more effort than I really did. And that's the shadow. Can you see? It's just like very natural, but opens the eye. Terracotta shade right here on the fluffy brush. And I've just been using this to add a little bit of warmth into the crease and underneath the eye. And that's the look. That's the T. It literally takes two seconds. And that's exactly what we want. And you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just is supposed to look like a little bit of shadow to give a little bit of definition. I'm gonna use my Tweezerman eyelash curler. Oh, and I do wanna highlight a little bit with the highlighter in here. So I'm gonna take that on funky Scott Barnes brush that I've been loving for this purpose. So it's like a little angled fan guy. I don't know if you can see, but it's really interesting. And it's really nice to pick up a highlight. So I'm gonna pick up this highlight right here and I'm gonna place it in the inner corner, place it underneath the brow bone and I don't know, I kind of just put this everywhere where I like to ha have a little bit of brightness. It's just like a really funky shape, but it really like gets in there beautifully. I don't know. So I've been enjoying this. Put a little bit on my Cupid's bow. I've been wearing this every day. This is the third day that Mike and I have been here and I love this. The color is so nice. I think, you know, the first time that I tried it, I didn't curl my lashes and I don't think that that helped 
with the lengthening or the separating of my lashes, but this is so freaking nice. And I just think that to get the effect that I like, which I like a more natural lash, a wispier lash, like my lashes but better. Can you see? That's what I like, this kind of vibe. I don't like a chunky volume. I just really like a lengthening and separating mascara. So in order to get that with this mascara, how many times am I gonna say this? But I just think curling your lashes does a really big, it does, it makes such a difference. And it's such a pretty color because it is really brown. Like it's not, a, you know like some mascaras that say that they're brown, but it's really like a black brown? Like this is genuinely brown. If I didn't love this mascara as much as I love it, I probably wouldn't be wearing any mascara on this trip, but it's so pretty and it really like opens my eyes. I have to say, I'm really loving my hair color. I don't know what it is. I'm loving the brown. I feel like a different person with this hair. I don't know what her name is. I kind of feel like Audrey. I feel like that's my new name with this hair. So Audrey is just, I'm all, <laughs> I'm crazy. Audrey is crazy, but I'm really loving my new hair. Even though I feel like some days it's auburn. I feel like some days it's brown. And then I feel like other days it's more blonde. It's like a mood ring for hair. We had a wine tasting this morning. We went to our favorite place. We went to Shady Brook and we got to ride horses and then we did a wine tasting. It's like honestly by far my favorite place here. I don't know, just the whole experience is so fun, but it was not fun for a minute because Mike and I got a notification from United Airlines saying that our flight was boarding in an hour. Our flight on Monday got canceled and then they rebooked us on another flight on Monday, but then I think there was like a glitch in the system and we got a notification that we needed to be that we need to be at the airport in 50 minutes. We just got here. Like when I'm filming this, it's Friday and we just landed on Wednesday. So I'm like, there's no way we're going home now. Something is wrong. Something is wrong and I'm not leaving. What kind of lip do I feel like wearing today? I feel like I keep eating the, the crap out of my lips. So I should wear something a bit more hydrating. I don't know if brown is the color. So let's go with Strip Down by MAC. This has just been like mine when I don't know what lip liner I wanna wear. This is the lip liner I've been choosing. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I don't like flying. I dislike flying greatly. And I was eating my lips while we were flying because I was scared. Again, this is such a nervous habit and it's a nervous habit that I've picked up since my dad got sick and then, you know, passed away. I don't know what it is. I just keep eating my lips. But I ate my lips on the plane ride here and then you get here and it's not as humid so my lips don't like the dry air either and then they start flaking and once there's like flakes and skin I have to pick and I have to bite and I have to eat it's really disgusting I'm disgusting but it is what it is I really want to wear one of these lipsticks so I think I'm gonna put standing ovation on this is by elf I haven't worn one of these since we've been here and I love this lipstick I feel like this is a good color with my dress maybe a little dark that's okay, let's see. What do I have here? This is, no, that's a little brown. Put a little bit of Dirty Talk in the middle. This is like more of a light pink. Maybe this was the color, I don't know. No, it's kind of like the same, not really making a difference. But I have to say, the lipstick of the moment, I really had such a love affair with these e.l.f. lipsticks and then recently, I can't get enough of these YSLs, but the YSL that I wore yesterday is currently in my pocketbook inside. Maybe I should go grab it, but I don't love one color, which is the problem, but I guess it's not a problem because I bought, I currently have five of them and I just love colors. Like I've become a little chemist when it comes to them and I just keep mixing and matching all of my different colors of the YSL lipsticks are just hydrating they're comfortable and like these elf ones are comfortable too, but they don't really do anything to help hydrate my lips. And like I said, I keep biting them. So I kind of need that extra hydration, but I'm going to clean up this mess and then I will show you the finished makeup look. All right, my friends, this is the finished makeup look. Just a little bit of color, a lot of browns, a little bit of pink on the lips. I just feel like this has been such my vibe lately. And I just wanted to give you a quick little update that I've been loving the Lash Clash mascara that I told you I didn't really like the first time that I tried it. But we all know I'm a little crazy and I do change my mind often. So I definitely change my mind when it comes to the Lash Clash. I love it. I don't know if you can see, but it is like a really pretty brown. It kind of matches my, are you waiting for me? 
Okay, it kind of matches my hair. I feel like it's kind of like a reddish, brownish, like auburny kind of color. Although today we look a little blonder. Are you coming into the video? Are you sleeping? I don't feel video ready. What's the matter? I don't know. He doesn't feel video ready. Okay. What do you think about my makeup? It looks amazing. Thank you. It, looks, it matches your hair very well. That's what I was just saying. What about my eyelashes? They kind of match my hair. They're like a reddish brown color. I can't see your eyelashes from here. I want my glasses on. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I was just wrapping it up, but telling everybody that this is the makeup, telling everybody that our flight got canceled. We had a little bit of an issue, but now it's all solved. Amen. Amen, thank God. Um, Mike was literally on a horse fixing our um, flight issues that we were having. If the 115 is the earliest, we'd like to be on the 115. It also looked like, when I looked before, it looked like we could sit in rows 48 and 47. Michael's on the phone with the airlines on top of a horse because we got a notification that we need to be at the airport in an hour. And yep, I'm currently sitting on a horse. So I'm not getting on a plane in an hour. I will be on Zeus for the next hour. But this is like wild, wild. Look at that cowboy though, yeehaw. <laughs> It was not funny. Like, honestly, I was like kind of having a meltdown because I just wanted to enjoy and have a good time because we're on vacation. And I have to say, I said this the last time we came to Napa, but for me, this is like my happy place. And I feel like I put so much into like this trip and it being amazing and it's solving all my problems. And it's just like life does not, you know, life does not stop being hectic, does not stop being crazy. Life does not stop because you're on vacation. Although I really wish you could put like an out of office on life. Like hold your bullshit, keep it to yourself. Your girl's out of office and she's on a vacation that she really needs. But anyway, before I wrap it up, which I am currently wrapping it up, this is my travel bag. I love this bag. It is very big. I got this on Amazon. I will link it down below. I have all my crap in here. And this has just become my favorite travel makeup case. I will link everything that I mentioned down below in the description in case you're interested in checking it out, purchasing it for yourself. But Mike and I are off. We're gonna go wine tasting. If you would like to join me in said wine tasting, I am going to be uploading a Napa vlog as I always do. And Mike actually bought me a new camera, which is what I'm filming on. So I feel like it's gonna be a lot more dynamic, better views, better shots. And let me know what you guys think about this video and let me know if the audio was as terrible as I think that it's gonna be. Or maybe you just enjoy being in the great outdoors like I am. Um, I love you guys so much. Again, if you want to join us in the wine tasting, be sure to subscribe and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time a new video goes live here on my channel, especially my vlogs. We have a lot of fun little trips coming up. I love you guys so much. I hope you know that. And thanks so much for joining me. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.